and welcome to a brand new show here on the web studio. Actually, I'm, I'm kidding. This is a revival of an existing show. This is In the Line of Wire. And if you're wondering that I don't, wondering why this doesn't look like Jahanara, that's because it's not. <laughs> it's actually the first show of the second season of In the Line of Wire, and in, in which I get the opportunity to interview Jahanara, the president of Asha. So how are you? Good, I'm finally back. Yes, and my intro stinks compared to the <laughs> 60 episodes worth of In the Line of Wire show introductions you've done. Yeah, that's only because you're nervous. You're scared of me. Okay. <laughs> it's very possible. Yes. <laughs> so how does it feel to be back at the web studio? Great. I've been missing it, but I've just had such a crazy schedule that much as I've wanted to do it, I just haven't been able to. But I think I will have to now sort of fix it into my schedule because I used to enjoy it so much, talking to people who've done some great things and uh, you know, trying to create new ideas, trying to showcase companies and innovation that's happening in this country. I think you know it just needs to be done some more because there's so many new things happening that we just need to record it for all posterity. So what's, what's been keeping you busy in the past six months? Oh, loads of things. You know, if you ask me to pin them down, I can't think what I've been doing. Okay. But I've been traveling across the country, meeting people, do, holding a lot of activities. The latest one, which you've also been a part of, is, is with young entrepreneurs uh, to find out what's holding them back, what the challenges and fears are. Other than that, trying to solve some of the problems that companies have been facing, uh, doing the normal, you know, the Pasha ICT awards, a picta that takes up a lot of time. Right, and uh, Pakistan did very well in a picta again this year. We did extremely well, and we hope that as each year passes, we continue to intimidate them with the kind of innovation that's happening here. And they, you know, they look at us with uh, a certain amount of respect now. When we first went, we were newbies and you know, not even worth looking at. Right. Uh, but now they look at us as competition. So we may not win seven awards every year, but at least we give them a run for their money and we benchmark our products. So that's, that's been going extremely well. We are now going to be in our eighth year this year. Wow. Uh, we've been doing launch pad events for young entrepreneurs. Uh, I think we need to now sort of move forward. And although we'll keep the Pasha ICT awards going, we will try and do some new activities. And that's why uh, this week and next week, I'm meeting with companies uh, in different cities to find out what their needs are, because their needs are changing as well. And so Pasha needs to move ahead with the times. We are also employing people. Really? <laughs> Finally. Finally. <laughs> it won't be a one woman show <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Although I've had the support of, of several members of our executive board, right. otherwise it couldn't have been done. But the secretariat team has been extremely tiny. I've had one administration person only. But now we are, uh, we've got somebody who will be helping us with the website so that it becomes more of a professional right. site which can uh, actually provide a lot of help to young companies as well as existing companies. Right. Also, you know, as the IT industry has matured, companies have begun to realize the value of being part of an association. Right. They hadn't understood that before. They said, okay, so we give you a membership fee every year and, and then it. what? Yeah. Uh, they've understood the value of advocacy. They've understood the role of international marketing and matchmaking. And they drive us as much as we drive ourselves. Okay. And I think that's important because otherwise one becomes complacent and one thinks, oh, I'm doing a brilliant job and that's it. But when people point out that, look, we need you to do this, it focuses us a little more. Okay. So we are continuously waiting for feedback, asking for feedback, and we are continuously asking ourselves questions. Okay. And because the board changes every year, uh, there are new people coming on board the executive committee uh, with new ideas. Right. And that helps. That, that fresh blood. Yeah, that fresh blood, those fresh ideas, but at the same time, a certain continuity. Okay. You've also led a number of delegations in the international markets, not just in the region, but also outside of, of the immediate region. One was uh, the IT delegation for as part of the Aman Ki Asha, yeah. which, was, which seemed to be interesting. 
it is interesting we were sort of pulled into it kicking and uh, screaming by Amin Ashwani who okay. sort of is the driving force behind uh, Aman Ki Asha because you know when he first approached me I said look why do we need to do this we've been meeting NASCOM and the Indian industry for right. years right. and how is this going to make a difference and he explained that look you've been meeting them as part of what you do as, right. as the IT sector but here we're talking about the clout of the entire industry which means textiles, which means cement, which means sugar, which means everybody else. And so when we talk to each other and discuss what the problems and hurdles are, and then we speak to our governments, both the Indian and Pakistani governments, and say this is what we need, then they listen. Because then it's not just the small IT sector talking to them, it's the entire right. industry that's talking to them. And he, says, he, he said to me, he said, you know, we need to do this because we need peace in our region and we need collaboration in our region and we need community building in our region and it made sense to us okay. and that's why we jumped on board otherwise you know we've got so many things to do we said oh no another you know addition and this seems a little vague but now that companies on our IT committee from Pakistan is, are talking specifically about projects to the IT committee members from India we found that they are sort of pinning down things that are low-hanging fruit that they can address right away and then aiming at much larger projects where we need some changes in policy from the government. Okay. So that is exciting because there are so many opportunities for both the Indians and ourselves and I think it's good that we're looking at it. Talking about policy and talking about bringing about change, would you say that this is the year of bringing around change and you know pushing for advocacy? You've got Take Back the Tech campaign, you've got um, policy roundtable initiatives for the IT policy itself. Um, do you see more of that discussion coming out from the local industry? Yes, I think uh, people have begun to realize that they need to actually tell the government what they need. Right. The, but they've and always that's been doing so. No, they have been, but I think the individual voices are never paid attention to and also uh, government has felt, you see this is driven by a personal agenda. Mm -hmm. Now if we're doing it from a uh, uh, Pasha and uh, general industry as well as civil society platform right. where we are actually now starting to draft our own policy uh, recommendations and give them to the government, I think the government will see that this is an initiative to help them mm -hmm. draft policy for us that will benefit us as well as benefit the country. And I think it's being done with a positive approach rather than blaming the government telling them, look, this is the process we would like you to follow. Right. Now, they might change things a bit, but if they have a general idea, I think they wouldn't uh, sort of refrain from accepting the idea and then moving forward with it. Right. So yeah, I think uh, policy is extremely important, although in the short term, people have often not seen the value of it. But in the long term, you've heard many young people say, we need a payment gateway. Mm -hmm. You've heard many people say, oh, outreach to the rural areas or smaller cities hasn't been possible. Right. Uh, education and mentoring initiatives, things like that. Also, there are a lot of solutions that we could have come up with that we haven't because we've just not encouraged it. Right. And that needs to be done at all levels, so government level as well as industry level as well as university level. So I think the advocacy has been important and I'm glad Pasha has got into the Take Back the Tech initiative. That has brought in some of our technologists as well as lawyers as well right. as you know activists and we have talked about issues that concern us all. It's very using potent group. technology. It's a potent group, it's, it's a very <laughs> active group, yeah. it's a volunteer group yeah. and yet they find the time at any time of the day or night to talk about an issue that they feel strongly about. Right. And although it started with violence against women, it has expanded to talk about now security on Facebook or Twitter right. or on the web. So it's not just focused at women alone, it's focused at everybody. Absolutely. And they are talking about it, they're finding solutions, they're sharing those solutions. I think this is extremely important, so I'm quite happy. How has the media reacted to you? Local media, mainstream media, I know the bloggers are obviously, um, they, they're very, very active. In, in writing about whether it's new coming companies or products or services or you know just you in general but how has mainstream media reacted to you? Well some of them have been very supportive um, and they have found new content mm. uh, that they didn't know existed. Uh, I know as far as the Take Back the Tech campaign many of them have centered stories around it okay. 
and they've understood that this is important and they've called in not just me but called in various members from our team which is what's important i think now it should be different levels of people within uh, each of these initiatives who should voice their opinion and there are a lot of young people who have a lot more exciting ideas than people like me who've been doing some of this for a longish time right. they've got these exciting things and these fresh things that they want to talk about and i'm glad that uh, the mainstream media has realized this and i try and push that as well when i talk to mainstream media that look why don't you talk to these two or three people mm -hmm. as well uh, they've reacted well, but I think they could be doing more to promote companies, individual right. companies. And I try and tell them that, but they say, oh, you know, we want to put this in the news segment and that's, you know, two and a half minutes <laughs> and what can we do about that? So I think uh, we still need to sort of get over that hurdle where right. they talk about products or innovation that's happening uh, and, you know, get people excited about that, just like they do about cricket or right. any such thing. So I'm, I'm pushing for that and some of the mainstream media have reacted well. I think we need more of them to come on board and talk about these positives rather than just focusing on the negatives. And it's the IT companies as long as they grow, which because it's it's comparatively easier for, for these companies to grow than, than the other sectors. So there's more creation of jobs, more generation exactly. of revenue, more exactly. contribution to GDP, so on and so forth. So right. perhaps, you know, we need to work on those kind of selling points to the media itself. Maybe we should have one of those shows where we have the uh, you know where people talk about the uh, you know that music show where there's the idol yeah. what, what is that called the American, American Idol. Idol so we need to have an IT Idol I Yusuf Jan who's <laughs> on our executive board has talked about this several times that we should have some of these exciting shows it will not only uh, bring more people into our sector more of these young people who realize what a sexy sort of uh, industry it is but it will also uh, you know get some of our uh, ideas out there in uh, in garb that is not so intimidating. Right. So can you say sexy on camera? I think you can. Okay. It's not a bad word. I know, but still, you know, <laughs> some people might not want to. <laughs> okay. So tell tell me what's going to happen. How is in the line of wire version 2.0 going to be any different than in the line of wire the original? Well, you know, when we did the original one, Rabia, remember the idea was that we need to generate content about the companies that have uh, started in this uh, country and how well they're doing. And we did 60 shows surrounding those companies. Yes, we've left out many companies and we will continue to add those to, to our portfolio. But in addition to this, we may bring some of the original guys back right. and talk to them about innovation and leadership talk to them about what kind of investment uh, is possible into this country. Uh, we can talk about, um, you know, how they've had to reinvent themselves, uh, what they've had to do in right. order to conquer new markets, uh, what do they see as, as change in the IT sector, both locally and internationally. You know, get them to give um, advice to young people who are coming in right. as to what they should do, things like that. I think that would uh, give it a fresh approach. It would also be of value uh, to put people who are already in the sector and also promote them again a second time round because this would be an update from what they've been doing all these years, now right. where they're at and what new challenges are they trying to conquer. Right. And many of them are and they're doing some exciting things. So I think uh, in that way it will be different. It will be the same and yet it will be very different. Okay. And uh, maybe we can also add in some updates as to, you know, I read a lot, read a lot of local and international blogs uh, that are very interesting. Yeah. Maybe we can talk about some of them so that we can share it with people sure. who might want to look at them as well. We can talk about anything interesting that has happened um, within the IT industry locally or right. internationally and uh, refer people to them you know right this this is the road that leads there uh, the, the right road or the, the right road. road yeah and also I thought this time we should start talking to some people from the universities who are doing interesting things uh, within the university space because we're always grumbling about what the universities are not doing so maybe talk to some of them and find out what are the interesting things they're doing right yeah. but I'm also looking at reinventing myself and, and trying so to manage be a, time. That'll be a good journey for us to follow. <laughs> no, yeah, to manage time a little better so that, yes, we're doing exciting things, but let's do them better than we've been doing them. Okay. What's that one milestone which has happened in the past six months, which will help progress 
the local IT industry into the right direction? Question. I can't think of one milestone. <laughs> There's so many things that have Just happened. A well, um, I think uh, young companies have started to scale, okay. and they've some of them have started talking about hiring people to run the companies. So the founders are no longer insistent on holding on to the companies. I think that's a big deal okay. because that means that they realize that they may have the capacity to come up with a great idea and create a company, but to take it to the next level, they need some professional management to take it there. So that, I think, is a big milestone for the industry. Second thing is, I think our industry is being recognized more and more regionally as being an innovative industry. And you know, just think of the fact that why would Indian IT be looking at Pakistan IT? And something that my friend who heads the IT uh, committee in India, Ganesh, said was that we are a big industry in India. We are looking to the Pakistan IT sector to light the spark that we need to re-energize. So I think that speaks a lot for our industry. There are so many people uh, within this sector who have these great ideas and who've been able to implement those ideas. And I think we can add value to a lot of countries and a to, to a lot of industries around the world, as well as to the general business sector in this country. And people are beginning to recognize that. I think that recognition alone is a great milestone. OK, great. Thank you for your time. And we look forward to a weekly release of IT Let's Loop. <laughs> yes, now that we have finally broken that barrier yes. and come back into the studio, I look forward to doing the shows. All right, so now the infamous sign off. Until the next episode, no, until the first episode of In the Line of Wire version 2.0, hosted by Jahanara, the president of Pasha, this is Rabia Gharib and Jahanara signing, signing off. Out.